Innovation Summit opened in Pittsburgh today. It's sponsored by a corporation that has had ties to Pittsburgh since the 1880s. Money editor John Delano has the details. A unique summit hosted by the local chapter of the Chinese Association for Science and Technology got underway downtown. We wanted to bring in the world-class speakers to talk to us about the future of science and technology. And we also have um, invited uh, competitors all over the United States to present their scientific projects. Part of that competition included students from China studying here, like Nina Tong getting her Ph.D. from Duquesne and working on anti-cancer drugs. I love Pittsburgh very much. It's a very nice place. Jacob Guess, also at Duquesne, is focused on how the coating on pills react to light. When the light um, interacts with the nifedipine, it just degrades, so it isn't just doing what its intended job. So it makes the medicine less affected? Correct. Westinghouse Electric Corporation, founded in Pittsburgh by George Westinghouse and now owned by CBS, is the title sponsor. Lawrence Lighting, who heads up CBS licensing in China, says it made sense to sponsor this event. Technology, innovation, STEM, that's our DNA, that's Westinghouse. Simon Wang heads Westinghouse in China. With Lighting interpreting, I asked Wang what he knew about George Westinghouse. He's a genius <clears throat> in short form. Uh, he is a, a, not only a scientist, he also is a, a great industrialist. Amplifying that is Dr. Selena Lawry, a descendant of Westinghouse, on only her second trip to Pittsburgh. When I flew into Pittsburgh today, I couldn't help but feel like it felt like home. Now this unique Global Innovation Summit will end Saturday morning with a number of speakers well known in their fields, including Dr. Lawry, the great-great-granddaughter of George Westinghouse. At the Wyndham Grand, I'm John Delano. KDKA News.